and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Esper Mill. That's right, we're going to be playing a donation deck here where our goal of uh, what we're playing here is to mill out our opponent with Ashiok Dream Render. All right, so we're just Esper Control here, where that's our main win con, because Esper really struggles with win cons these days. With losing to Fairy Hero of Dominaria uh, after rotation, they haven't really had the best win cons. And so what we're doing here is we're going with Ashiok for our win con. Now, this format also is a very slow format where there's a lot of card advantage, a lot of life gain, games go very uh, long. And whenever you kind of combine all those together, attacking the opponent's library where you start with the 60 cards as like attacking that as their life total instead of attacking like their regular life total becomes um, more and more appealing. And so that's what our deck here is designed to, to do. Now you can tell here this deck is very anti-Golos Field of the Dead. Golos is kind of everywhere. Uh, we played against it three times <laughs> in, with the Marty Merriment deck we just played. Uh, so three of our last seven matches were against that. Um, and so if, if, you, if you're playing against Golos all the time in ranked, you want something that uh, has a really good game against Golos while, while um, you know, just has a spectacular game against Golos while still being pretty good everywhere else. This looks like this could be the deck for you. Um, being able to have four main deck Ashiok, and also we have main deck Unmoored Egos. That's right, there's two Unmoored Egos here in the main deck. You can name Field of the Dead, you can name Golos, get him out of the deck. <laughs> so that's pretty awesome. Um, besides that, you know, knowing the better you know the metagame, the better you can Unmoored Ego. Uh, it's not a spectacular card in a lot of matchups, but you know, it's not, it's not the worst thing ever. You know, it's, it's never, it's never like necessarily a complete dead card. Obviously, if you're you're behind, it does nothing, kind of thing to to save you whenever you're behind. But oh well. Um, there's just so much goalless around that this this is where we're at. So we got two of these in the main. Um, besides that, like even even the, if you're not playing against goalless, like I said, like games can just go longer and just Ashiok shutting down the graveyard against like these, you know, like green decks with Cavalier of Thorns or something can be really nice. Uh, it's saying your opponent can't search their library could be nice with a lot of people are playing Fable Passages everywhere. So, you know, you, you shut down Fable Passage at least there. Um, so, you know, like these, these cards can do things in other matchups also. But besides that, you know, we got our normal Esper Control stuff. Kaya's Wrath, again, is going to be a big part of our deck. Um, we have like the Narsets that can go find Ka Kaya's Wrath whenever we need it, help us find more Ashioks, things like that. Of course, Teferi really slows down opponents, especially with paired with Ka Oath of Kaya. So, um, yeah, that's kind of all about our deck right there. So let's get to it. Let's play some Esper Mill. And we'll see if we can hopefully get paired against Golos. That's what I want to do. I really want to, um, I really want to see how this works against Golos. So here we go. It's possible. So this is a donation deck. So I'm playing a league. Um, always play a league with donation decks. It's possible I should have just played this in ranked because there's probably more like a higher percentage of Golos decks in ranked than in the leagues. We'll see how it goes, though. Swift Water Cliffs. Okay, so this looks like a like one of those like kind of ooh, it's thousand year storm. <clears throat> huh. So they're gonna reversal. So if I ego my opponent and they reversal it, I wonder what they do. I kind of I want my opponent just to tap out to play this Wii Dragonauts.
There we go. Oh, it's actually a thousand. I guess it is named Thousand Year Storm. Thorgal and Drug Wizard. What's up, y'all? We got two subs joining in the chat. Everybody get your hype votes there. <laughs> I just logged in and I see Esper Mill versus Infinite. Is it? What is going on? Well, I think he answered your question. That's exactly what's going on. I kind of wanted to say Expansion Explosion. Honestly. Yeah, we'll go Thousand Year Storm. That's their only one. Mass manipulation. Yeah, there's just a, a whole bunch of... Good thing I didn't say expansion explosion. They don't have any, man. There is just a bunch of random cards in here. Alright, not a very good Amortigo matchup. Not a very good Amortigo matchup. They have like kind of like one of everything. Like there's like one war boss, one Niv Mizzet. However, it is a very good Liliana matchup. <laughs> My army will envelop this world. Oh, that's pretty nice. Yeah. This looks like a fun new toy. So this deck, so you've had, you've had Narset and Teferi in play, and then you've, you've, upkeeped the ego, and then they they draw the card off of ego, but then they don't get to draw for their draw step, because they only get to draw one card a turn. That's pretty nice. Ugh. I hope you washed your hands first. <clears throat> yeah, so, yep. Yeah, we're doing a 12-hour stream with our next sub goal, so we only need two more subs for a 12-hour stream. Well, Liliana... We re Liliana replaced itself. And also... Took away three cards from their hand, and it's still out here doing stuff. There are so meditate and prepare. They just scried and kept this card on top with the Jaya's greeting. Ah, it was a shock. So yeah, they were gonna be able to shock Liliana. Not anymore. Arocalypse! Thank you so much, Santa Arocalypse. Alright, so welcome Kieran. Kieran and General Platos. Alright, so that's a sub goal. Let's mark it down. That means we got a 12 hour stream on the way. Poor opponent. Getting shut down by Narset. Alright, let's update that. I think what we're going to do is, is do the 12-hour stream on... I have just the trick for this. I say... Niv. Roll reversal. There we go, get rid of that thing. I think we're gonna do it on Wednesday. I leave you with So our plan is Yeah, I think that's the plan. <laughs> Good help is easy to find in war. We'll have Tuesday, Bruise Day, tomorrow. 
<clears throat> and then we will um, we'll have our 12 hour stream Wednesday and then I think I'm going to take the day off Thursday <laughs> just give me fire mines research cool thanks I'll draw an extra card That did not accomplish very much. Smelly, but effective. We're actually going to kill our opponent with damage within our mill deck. Ooh, maybe not. Um, let's play another one of these. Mind and body should move Activate this. Before action. Cast that. Draw some cards. They were a lousy servant anyway. But death is in life. Hmm, no land. All right, they're down to 26. Library count, 18. Life count. Yeah, maybe I'd actually have one Kaya to combo with the Ashiox. I don't know if it really needs it. No more. Down to 17. I guess I'll explore some eyes. Always. Hone your prowess. Right I want my Otakaya back. That's more like it. <laughs> Rise and shine. <clears throat> okay. So basically, we just don't need Unmored Ego. Um, I don't really know like what we need and or if we really need anything. I guess we'll just play a couple of Disparks. We'll do that. Yeah, this deck's definitely capable of, of milling people out because each Ashiok can mill over 20 cards, and there's four of them, so that can mill over 80. Now, obviously, the Ashioks can die, and, and you may not get there, but that's kind of the goal of those. Mulligan. Hmm. Get rid of that one. Good hand. You drop two planeswalkers when? Or two drop planes oh, two drop planeswalkers when. Um They've made two two mana planeswalkers before. One Tibolt that was not very good, one Ren and Six that was amazing. Um but yeah, I think I think that's that's probably something that's, that's just that's gonna be on the horizon probably. Sure, we have double black. Oh right, what am I doing? That comes into play tapped. Yeah, zero, zero CMC planeswalker win. They have, they have a one mana planeswalker. They have a few one mana planeswalkers. Um, Kithian was a one mana planeswalker. 
Deathrite Shaman was a one mana planeswalker. I leave you with this is difficult to digest. Guild with Goose is close to a one mana planeswalker. Not quite though. <laughs> yeah, how can how can you play against Field of the Dead with Agent and Cavalier if you're playing Grixis? Yeah, it is it is kind of impossible to win. Those cards are really good, really difficult to beat with Grixis. But Deathrite was definitely a planeswalker. You didn't have to spend mana on it, and it had so many different abilities. You know, you can go with like the. I guess you, you do have to spend mana on the other abilities, but whatever, it add, adds mana also. That's right, I was a planeswalker. That card's cool. I could go like the Teferi Bounce It route. But then, I don't know, am I, am I risking them just like next turn playing it and then playing Shock? Is that even a risk? I don't know. The focus, keep an open mind. We're kind of just going through the motions here. Trying to mill out another 35 cards. No, don't do that, opponent. Uh, no, don't do that. Poor opponent. Reckless and ill refined. Meditate and prepare. Now that thing's gone. You will be haunted by this duel. All right, so we've gone halfway through the library so far. I really hope next match we get paired against Field of the Dead. You'll thank me later. Welcome. Don't worry, I got this. I leave you with. All right, they're down to twenty-two. This has been a night. Yeah, that number is covered up for y'all, right? Uh, almost covered up. Basic. Yeah, you can you can almost see it. <laughs> Ashiok extra loud for Halloween. <laughs> Your final. My victory was but a dream. No, I am not making this up as I go. We Dragonauts. So where are they at? They're at sixteen. I don't really want any of those other cards. I'm gonna scry, look for another Ashiok just in case. You. 
Also to speed it up. Actually, I can only mill over eight more, and they're at twelve. Trust me, I have a plan. This deck needs a spark double so we can copy Ashiok. And have the spark double copy start with one more loyalty. This might be a bad idea. Wait a minute. Hmm. Behold. <clears throat> Don't know if they'll have enough blue for that. This isn't a fight you can win. Let's try this. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, mass manipulation, I don't want to take my Ashiok. And then I didn't really even look that much at the rest of the hand. And then after, after you know, I just chose it real fast. And afterwards, I was like, wait a minute, this chase could be good. I have practiced. I have just the there we go. Found another one. I must uncover more spies. Okay. I lost my appetite. So many planeswalker activations. So if if you like planeswalker activations this is a good deck for you. If you like activating planeswalkers. <laughs> Slowest mill I've ever seen. It's four cards a turn. We milled so fast our opponent only had two blue lands. Good job, gamer. Way to go. Good job. Ooh, not a good hand. Good hand. I guess the castle's going to go ahead and go with us needing a white and a black for Kaya's Wrath. Alright, so we need... Oh, no! Hmm. This doesn't work. I was like, okay, well, we'll you know, we got the two black, now we'll, we'll use this to get the other white. But that doesn't work with casting Thought Erasure next turn. Alright, we don't need a... We don't need a white source immediately. <clears throat> okay, here we go. We're facing Golos. This is the matchup we wanted. Where's our Ashiox? We need to find Ashiok. An ego. I train every day put thoughtfulness before action. Hmm. There's Ashiok. See ego. Hone your prowess. No ego. Right. Your Boom. Final terror is upon you. 
That's it. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. G G. He said this goalless card is so good. He said this goalless card is so good. <laughs> That's it. Just scoops. Just scoops. Insta GG. Can't even handle it. <laughs> no, we, we played game one Ashiok and they conceded the match. I think that's it. I'm done. Oh my gosh. Best deck of the format. Not even close. We got Esper Mill. <laughs> Minus one foot target player in graveyard. <laughs> uh. All right. Looks like we found the pr the solution to the Golos problem. <laughs> Smashiok. <laughs> That was pretty awesome. Can you explain what happened? Well, basically, the, the Ashiok was, is a really good card against our opponent, and they just decided to quit playing because we played a really good card, basically. It didn't, like, just win the game. Like, the game wasn't over, but they lost the will to live. Why can't we have two lands? Oh my gosh. Go to four. If we draw one land, we get to Thought Erasure. Maybe look for another land. Alright, so I don't know what this sound bug is all about. They're playing Rakdos. So, of course, I, I kept the lands, Sorry, and then drawn from dreams that can be two more cards for us. Jonokan! What's up? Thanks for that resub there. Oh, they are Grixis, huh? Huh. I probably should do this. I guess no, they're probably fires of invention. Here goes nothing. Did this graphics change? No. Alright, got a new sub. Getting towards our second sub goal of the day. Dracuseth. Okay, Grixis Reanimator. Do you want to good against Reanimator? Splash Yuck. Now, do I want a Wrath or a Narset? Narset. Time. Man, Ashiok has been MVP. Two Dracuseth down. <laughs> Just discard Bond Revival. I've got it.
I guess I should I should probably minus I kinda don't see what was going on, but I guess if I minus Nars at first I have a better idea. They are fires of invention. There are fires of invention. Yeah, third third Drackey Seth done. If they play Tonebound Lich, they just have to discard because of Narset, they don't get to draw. <laughs> they just milled over four lands. Meditate and prepare. She'll probably Liliana. So we'll do that. Let us Even though on e grabbing Onward Ego would, would have been more fun. My <laughs> opponent is not having a wonderful time. I don't. I don't believe so either. Here we go. I'm, yeah, I'm not sure how much longer my opponent's going to hold out. Let's see game two at any second. Hey, Eddie. So they milled over, yeah, they milled over Unward Ego for us. You'd better hope you delay our quest no further. All right, Royal Scions. Strike fear into the hearts of the wicked. The past, present, and future. I'll die of just the trick for this. I leave you with So they got multiple Fey of Wishes over there. Putrid, but effective. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Are you okay? Oh, I think so. <laughs> Super evil hide, friends. Will. Yeah, I think yeah, Gruel Aggro is probably our worst probably the de worst matchup for this deck. I will learn what nobody yet knows. So they have three Fae of Wishes. It's good to know for Ego purposes. I'm surprising. I'm surprised with me being an unmoored ego deck that they're letting me see this much of their deck. Let's try this. Back to training. Hi. But kind of surprised we got to see that much of their deck. Oh no! Okay. <clears throat> so. Hmm. So I don't want Kaya's Wrath or Othakaya. We'll take Dispark. 
Elder Spell, Extra Ego, and Disdainful Stroke. All right, looks good. Yeah, we were going to kill them faster by milling than attacking. Just the attacking just kind of wasted time. <clears throat> uh, yeah, this was white Korean in the, in chat here. This is their deck. That was a mold of four that we just had also that last game. But to be fair, my opponent molded to five last game, so it wasn't that big of a deal. <clears throat> and our Ashiok just shot off all the cards in their hand. But we just needed to draw one land. Yay. Yeah, Narset is like is kind of like my best card here, but I didn't like I thought they could have a negate. I didn't want to throw Narset into a negate. I could have thrown Teferi into a negate, I suppose. Scry one. Well, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> oh, I don't have. I can't. Hmm. I cannot. I don't have double black. Can't swift down that row. I'm known for my excellent fight. Trust me, I have a plan. <sighs> if I minus, then you know they just cast something and it kills Teferi. If I minus the Teferi and bounce the alliance. So sad we have all these murderous riders we can't cast. Guildmage, planeswalker, genius inventor? I got it all. Oh no. Oh, I'm sorry, good brother. Said, so, do you ever mean to click oops because you messed up and then you click good game on accident? Uh that's rough. Hey, that will you just let me know if you're up for round two. You won fair and square. I think my opponent said oops because I think like the one damage that Ral did, I think they, they did to Teferi. Yeah, they, they so instead of doing one damage to Ashiok, they did one damage to Teferi. Yeah, I wish there was a sorry button. Obviously, people could, you know, do sorry um, sarcastically, but you can do, like, any of these sarcastically. Do you think there's any merit to brought back or Starfield Mystic in a Mardu Merriment deck? I wish, I wish Starfield Mystic actually... You know, yes, it, it does cost, uh, cost, you know, makes the enchantments cost one one less, but I wish it, like, I don't know, gave you some kind of, like, advantage, like, card advantage or something, like, like, whenever an enchantment you control dies, you draw a card or, or something. <clears throat> As is, it just doesn't do very much. Um, and then, yeah, like, with brought back, you, like, 
merriment's like not trying to leave the battlefield. Neat with oath. If so, if you have another oath in play. I know eighty-eight ways to hone your prowess. Um, honestly, not sure. I'm Pat. I don't know. Yeah, Paragon comes in against like big creatures like Questing Beast. Yeah, Paragon's just a really good anti Questing Beast card. Favorite deck in standard is probably the Teamer Walkers. Check out the YouTube video from like two or three days ago. I think three days ago now. The Teamer Walkers deck. That'd be my favorite video right now. Or that's my favorite deck right now. Yeah, this is a mill deck because it uses. Yeah, our, our way to win is milling our opponent out with Ashiok. I'm not I'm not in the MCQ as far as I know. What's what's the MCQ? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Our deck could use some more murderous riders. Well, I obviously know what the MCQ stands for, but I don't know when it is or anything about it. Like, whenever the next one is. They just didn't play Fae of Wishes. They don't want me to kill Fae of Wishes, I guess. They want to be able to play Fae and then bounce it immediately. Are y'all talking about a mythic championship, like an actual mythic championship, and calling it an, an a mythic championship qualifier? I don't understand. Like, because y'all are talking about there's deck list for an MCQ. Why would there be deck list for an MCQ? Wouldn't there be deck deck list for a, just a mythic championship? I'm confused by what y'all are saying, but it's also it's it's kind of weird because everything is just mythic this, mythic that. So I'm confused what y'all are talking about in chat. Okay, so what, when is this, so there's, okay, okay, so it is a Mythic Championship. What's the date on it? When it, when is it? October 26th. Remember your nightmares. 
So the after, so they're gonna have the BNR announcement on the twenty first, and then and then the events on the twenty sixth. But they already they already posted the deck list now on the fourteenth. They posted the deck list for the event for the event two weeks ahead of time. That's something I've never seen. Are y'all sure the event's not this weekend and then they're going to have a band announcement afterwards? Okay, yeah, it's definitely this. Okay, yeah, so it's this weekend. That makes way more sense. So they'd they'd have it this weekend and then have the band announcement afterwards. That makes way more sense. You're a swine. <clears throat> okay, so this this all makes a lot more sense. So it's a there's a mythic championship this weekend with a band and a restricted announcement after that, and they posted the deck list already for it. Now. Thanks, Blue Dream. Okay, let's see. Is there anything I want to name with this? 14 cards left. Unfortunately, we can't we can't say Fay of Wishes and get that Fay of Wishes that's exiled. You only get cards from hand graveyard. And library. So yeah, I can't I can't grab that Fay of Wishes with Unmordigo here. Oh, well, congratulations, good brother. Okay, yeah, getting a new job, awesome. What would you consider the best Esper deck in standard best of one right now? Um, honestly, not exactly sure. I haven't played too much Esper in best of one, to be honest. I, I usually just play best of three. I'm doing, you know, we got a best of one day today. That besides this donation deck, we're playing other best of one decks you can see. I have not played any... Um, I've not played any Esper deck yet, so I, I don't know. Honestly, I'm sorry about that. So they have to kill me in eight cards right now. Is there anything that we can snag that we can name? I wish I could like sort this a little bit better. I wish I could sort this like by by like the actual cards. They have two fires of invention over here. Three. They have three fires of invention. So it's it's not likely. There's three fires, three fey. Just basically want to snag anything. They got all the blood crypts are out. I don't even know I don't even know like what to name. <sighs> Not 
probably should attack. Royal Scions would have been good. Knowledge is the greatest virtue. With the courage to apply it. Fear is a tool. Use it. Uh, this bet, yeah, this deck's been doing pretty well for us for as per in best of one. Or sorry, best of three. This is just a difficult game. I'm sorry I'm not talking too much or answering too many questions right now. I'm just There's just nothing really good to name. These one ones may kill may kill me, honestly. Could just name Agent of Treachery again, I guess. They have a second one, but it's not likely they have one. No. Ashiok? Ashiok was the name, huh? I guess the bad part about activating Improbable Alliance for my opponent is it does dig them another card. I guess I could have counted up the Watery Graves. I, I, I did that with Blood Crypt Steam Vents, and I kind of stopped. I sh should have counted Watery Grave. Could have named that. Yeah, the Fae's in Exile. You can't take, I can't take the Fae. It's over there. So Tonebound Lich means they have to draw, then discard. Darn. It was an Ashiox. I can't take two Ashiox from there. Hmm. I don't have enough black mana. I'm dead. I'm just taking lethal here. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm sure I misplayed this game a, a bunch earlier whenever I was just talking and stuff. I'm sure I did. Uh, I don't know exactly where, but I'm sure I'd, I did if we lost that game. There wasn't really any reason for us to lose that game.
Okay. I'm going to play one Kaya's Wrath. Probably just take out an ego. Okay. Let's let's win this game three. Let's focus again. Refocus, get this game. All right, so no thrill of possibility. No, I don't think we saw any counters. We saw any counters. All right, so they <clears throat> hit the land drop, get to Lich, loot away the Dracuseth, loot away the revival. bounce it but then they just get to keep looting if I bounce it car um, and the great creator can re-grab um, all right never mind we'll reshuffle this Kaya's Wrath I just put back. Karn the Great Creator can grab um, colorless cards from exile. As far as something that can get stuff from exile goes. I can no longer stand by and watch. That's more like it. Behold. My Don't worry. I won't rain on your I lost my appetite. Okay, so the life total is down to 36. Like two Royal Scions and two Fae of Wishes gone. I like that. I like how they've drawn double Fabled Passage with me having Ashiok in play. That's good. All right, good. Agent Treachery gone. That's that's another good hit. You will be haunted by this duel. I've got time. We could uh, uh, we could Elder Spell our Teferi to put more counters on Ashiok. I don't think we really need to do that, but that's an option. I just protect. look for another Ashiok. I'm I'm certainly not going the minus one and getting Ashiok off the the battlefield with them having double Fable Passage.
Hey, what's up, Samantha? All right, bounce the one one. Oh, I've done the hero Draw a thing. card. Drawn from dreams. Of course, the problem is even if we find a new Ashiok, as soon as we minus one this Ashiok, they get to fetch. Um, So yeah, I think I think we could just play like the new one. Play. I'm gonna get the Teferi in play though. I am not going to sit this one out. Here we go. Well, now that they fetch, it's not a big deal because they have the Fires of Invention. There are 22 cards in library. Alright, I'm going to let them fetch. Yeah, I could I could definitely bounce fires and disdainful stroke it again, but fires itself isn't going to be defeating me, I don't think. And even even if they get two lands out, that's two less cards in their library, right? So that's still two health, as far as we're concerned. It's like they're down to sixteen now. Cause like, they got enough lands now, so I'm not I'm not too worried about stopping them there. All right, so they're at 12. This might be a bad idea. Yeah, like the opponent's down to 11 now. Yeah, we exiled all three of their Fae of Wishes. That's the last Dracu Seth in their hand. We exiled their Agent of Treachery. They kind of just have like this improbable alliance is like the only thing that can do anything. I would not be surprised for them to go Thrill of Possibility, discard Dracu Seth, then Bond Revival, and then we'll Disdainful Stroke the Bond Revival. <laughs> what a mean way to win. Yeah. Yeah, they could they could they could definitely hard cast Dracu Seth and then bring it back with Bond Revival if we counter it, but if they hard if they just hard cast it, it doesn't have haste, so I'm not gonna counter it because we have Teferi that bounces it.
There's no reason to wrath yet. I'm going to wait for them to play, get a bunch of fairy tokens before we wrath. I mean, I guess I could just instant speed wrath next turn. They're going to get two fairy tokens here. We're just going to do that. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. This guarantees us another Ashiok activation. They're down to seven. You. I've got it. All right, well, this is over. Correct. I'm not going to let my opponent attack. Teferi cannot ba bounce Ashiok. Oh yeah, they don't even get the one once at end step though, right? Because they only—that's only the first draw. No, no, no. I was talking about the first draw. No. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess they get to attack. Uh. <laughs> uh, streaming's difficult. <laughs> Sometimes you just do... Sometimes you just misclick. No, no, no. I meant to say oops. <laughs> they said oops. I meant to say oops. No, hey, it's, it's all good, Flarm. That's my job, interact with, with chat and everything um, <clears throat> while, while playing. And, and yeah, I was just saying, you know, just talking there and said stuff that doesn't matter, but it's okay. I think we got this. They're at they're at three, you know, like so they have to kill me before they draw three cards. And that's just not very possible. Unless they have another bond revival. So, Alright, Ashiok to save the day. All right, so we didn't play very well games two and three, admittedly. Well, I just made like that one turn that was bad in game three. But. This deck looks pretty sweet. All right, I want to face another Golos deck. More Golos. Nobody else is choosing to play against Golos, but I will. So they should definitely pair me against Golos. Golos, Golos, Golos. I don't really like this hand. I kind of want a mulligan. I kind of want a mulligan. No, we'll, we'll keep that. Not many people play Temple of Epiphany in Golos. Looks like, is it Flash? Yep, is it Flash? This is probably difficult for us. <clears throat> Counter spells are good against our deck for sure. I knew I should have mulliganed my hand. If you see, yeah, if you see the schedule over here, Trumpu. Yeah, we have. Everything else are best of one decks today.
Yeah, I can see that. I can see needing to reset arena. It's sad just playing three matches and then having to reset the client again. Uh, that's how it is, though. So many lands over there. I'm so jealous of all their lands. Wow. I resolved. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it, you can find that for previous deck lists, you can either find it there on the Stream Decker page, um, but I know the Stream Decker page is kind of hard to, to navigate to look for stuff. Easier could be check out the YouTube channel, you know, go to the videos, you know, see whichever deck that you want. The links to the deck lists are always, um, are always in there. So, so yeah, maybe that could help you out there. Andriotti. Or Andre. Um, yeah, the description of the YouTube videos have the deck list links. Double Essence Capture, Double Flame Sweep. Let's slow this down. No, I am not making this up as I go. All right, we're resolving Teferi against the Flash deck. That's good. Kind of the good thing about being a, a full-on control deck. Not having creatures. Uh, let's do you. Here goes nothing. Yeah, those, those are some pretty bad cards against us. I think we're going to win this game, but it's going to take a while. Our deck can take a while. I guess my opponent's deciding whether or not to play whatever they have in hand. Okay, we'll scoop them up. Hmm. So it's not really a Kaya's Wrath matchup. What are they gonna have? They're gonna have like Brazen Borrower, six mana Chandra. I wish we had like some duresses or something like that in the sideboard. Uh 
Like Brineborn, Cutthroat, Brazen Borrower. Take out Ashiok. Gargoyle blocks everything. I mean, I'll I'll play like Gargoyle over Ego. I don't I don't think I want to take out Ashiok. We have to have four cards in hand to block with this thing though. That, that can be tough. Yeah, I don't I don't care about attacking. I don't care that I don't care that they don't have cards in their graveyard with Ashiox minus and then we don't get to attack. I don't I don't really care about that. All right, let's see how we do. Good looking hand. The Vantress Gargoyle looks really cool. I haven't had good experiences with this card in the past. My experience has been play it, and you like play other stuff in your hand and it doesn't get to block. And then we die because this thing doesn't block. That's been my experience previously. I don't really see the the point of playing Thought Erasure or Vantress Gargoyle like into Quench. I feel like going end step Murderous Rider into untap, like next turn go end step Murderous Rider and then untapped or, you know, swift end. Um, untap, be able to have Thought Erasure and Gargoyle both. I think that's the our best play here. Waiting for Racto Sacrifice. Our, our best of one decks don't take too long. So after we win this one, we'll be 4 0. Then win the next one, 5 0. And then we'll be going to best of one again. Might as well just not take the one. That's the one we don't really need to take. Red27 with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much there, Red. Thanks for that support. We're on our way towards our next sub goal. Sub number 12 on the day. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, we're going to have a 12-hour stream on Wednesday with hitting sub goal earlier. So they had the quench. I played around it pretty well. 
I could take Quench now and then just resolve Gargoyle. Yeah, we'll just do that. Is there a three damage ETB in standard? It's like a, a creature that enters and does three damage. I'm not sure. I c nothing comes to mind. I should let them scry two first. I should let them make that decision first before they know that their spectral sailor is going to die. Jarl Axel with the sub. Thanks, Jarl Axel. I appreciate that. Sub number 13 on the day. Yeah, Gargoyle helping stop Vantress. I was wondering if they were going to put like both cards back on top to try to have me mill over something or not. I was, I was wondering what they were going to do there. Yeah, but they went just one top, one bottom, so then it's pretty pretty obvious just to mill the top card when they went one top, one bottom. And that top card was the Brazen Borrower. I hope I have enough basics. Do we have two more basics in the deck? Okay, good. Not another blue basic. So we're gonna have to get... I really want another planes. Yeah, we, we don't need any more planes or trains or automobiles. All right, Boot, what's the good news? What's the good news, Boot? If you wish to surrender now, I understand. Keep an open mind. Nightmares are the ballot for my great. Oh, awesome. Cool. Behold. I will That's good news. My Oh, I didn't see. I'm sorry. I, I, I did something there real quick. I didn't see actually what they did with the castle. I 
I didn't see what they just did there with the castle. Did they just... I assume they did something with castle. They put two, to two on top. Perfect. So then, yeah, we give them the top card. <laughs> they didn't want me to give them the top card. All right, we are 4-0. Yeah, I'm planning on playing Historic. Uh, when there's Historic events, like Historic and Brawl, I'm planning on playing both of those whenever we get events for them. All right, we're 4-0. I'll keep it the same. We won't... We won't um, we won't reset because that's bad luck. We reset right before the final boss. But speaking of final boss, it's time for the final boss playlist. Here we go. Yeah, come on, go loose. Final boss, go loose. Go loose, go loose, go loose. We want ego. Oh, this hand's great against Golos. Hmm. This hand is not good against Rakdos. Rakdos is probably a tough matchup for us. Ugh, gross. It's a very unusual Golos build for the opponent. We we played against Golos one time, and we played Ashiok game one against them, and they just conceded. Yep, that's all we want to do is fight Golos decks, yep. You fear me. They've got a bunch of cards that are double black that they can't cast. Cool. Get rid of two black sources. That's good. Remember your nightmares remain. I wonder what More swamps. Ugh, there's no swamps there. We've exiled a lot of swamps. Exiled five swamp, five black mana sources. That's it. Ashiok too strong. Too strong. So what's my sideboard against Rakdos here? So 
So it's like Gargoyle, Paragon. I mean, like, the Cauldron Familiar, which is oven combo, is really rough. Wait, what are we expecting? Like, we want Hushbringer to stop what? Like, the Cauldron Familiar? Yeah, I, I could definitely see playing Le Legion's End here instead of these Gargoyles. This, this would be really nice to play Legion's End. If we think they have Knights? I don't, I don't think so. I kind of don't, I don't like, I don't really like this Hushbringer or Gargoyles. I like the Paragons, but I don't like these cards. I'm just going to play the Gargoyles instead of on more Egos, I guess. There's just nothing else I want to bring in. They just have too many Flyers, I think, for Paragon. They did have the Ayara. It's true. It... Hushbringer stops whenever creatures are sacrificed, but not like food, whenever food are sacrificed. Right? Does, does Hushbringer just stop Mayhem Devil completely? No, it's just creatures entering the battlefield are dying. Don't cause abilities to trigger. But the thing is, is like we're a Kaya's Wrath deck, also. Like where we're trying, we're going to be trying to Kaya's Wrath, and it's like, so do I really want this Hushbringer when we're trying to Kaya's Wrath? Yeah, they probably don't really have very much for Gargoyle after Cyborg here. Ugh. I don't want them to be able to draw cards, though. I could Teferi bounce. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know what the Hushbringer is for. I don't know. I, I guess this... Yeah, I guess, like, this matchup works for Hushbringer. Hmm. Let's just play this Murderous Rider.
Yeah, in order to block with Gargoyle, it means I don't get to play my land. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I guess I guess I should be playing Hushbringer here. I know my responsibility. Don't worry. I got this. I need like a Kaya's Wrath. Should have brought. I should have brought in Paragon instead of Gargoyle. Yeah, I should have had Paragon instead. Something else. No. Oh my god. Alright, I'm never playing Gargoyle again. <laughs> uh, that's so brutal. I'll protect you. Oh, that's brutal. If you show remorse, I'll show this. Let's try this. Now I can't block. Why not upkeep the thought erasure? Does it does it matter? I mean, I, I want a Yara out of their hand, but yeah, I guess I could have drawn step. I could have, yeah, I guess I could have done that draw step. This is difficult to digest. But I I certainly wanted a Yara out of here. All right, I'm sideboarding out Gargoyle. This card's not playable. I've already not played lands twice because we of this card. If we would have just played out our lands, would have been able to cast like Drawn from Dreams plus, um, you know, plus find a, a Wrath to play the Wrath. We also would have just drawn that other Wrath. So we need to <clears throat> need to be able to block devil here, and then we just go down to one. Hope we're not dead. I could have a lot of things to kill us. 
Hushbringer could could do well though. I think maybe playing like Hushbringer and a Black Lance Paragon instead of these. All right, so we'll go. Yeah, we'll go Hushbringer, Paragon, get those things out. It just us not being able to play our lands to try to block with that thing. Kind of hate it. Um. Do I want to play other Paragons instead of Narset? There was the option there to block then Rider. Oh. Besides cast drawn from dreams, yeah, I don't, I don't like that option. Like we're still losing two life either way. There, Rider doesn't help us not lose two life. Uh, just gonna hopefully exile cats with the uh, Ashiok. The Teferis do a good job of slowing my opponent down. Narset doesn't... Narset gets you cards. Which is really nice when you have mana to cast cards. We don't have mana to cast cards right now. So getting more cards that are not lands is not valuable. And Narset doesn't help you hit land drops. Teferis hit you, help you hit land drops and stay alive. And so that's why I'm keeping all the Teferis. All right, so I got a plan for next turn. No, I am not making this up as I go. Of next turn, bounce the oven. Maybe they sack the familiar in response. You know, they'll just bring it back though. Whenever I Ashiok. Hmm. Definitely feel like we should have won that game too. Feel bad about losing that one. I think if I would have just if we would have just not had Gargoyle and had Paragon or Hushbringer and then had everything exactly el like everything else just play exactly how it did, I think we would have won that game too. Bleh. This is a difficult combo to beat, though. Let's slow this down. I've got time. 
I guess this, this is the combo for Hushbringer. Well, they do the cooking. They they do that on my turn. They'll like be able to untap and play another creature and sacrifice that other creature to get a a. Like you're saying, I should just instant speed wrath after they do the oven activation, but then they they'll be able to just play another creature, sacrifice it, and still get Cauldron Familiar back. Even if I try doing that with Ashiok. A matter of time. It's possible they don't have another creature. Is it possible they just don't have another creature? Do I just waste Akaya's Wrath? On the prayer that they don't have another creature. I'm gonna wait wait one turn before I do that. We'll play the Ashiok first. This does allow me to next turn, as long as we survive with both of these Planeswalkers, next turn we can bounce Oven and then Wrath, then Ashiok Minus. That's kind of the plan right now. You just need to bounce oven, kill a cat, and then Ashiok all in one turn. Easy. <laughs> That's all you need to do for this combo. That's it. Yeah, the Rakdos Sacrifice deck that we're playing later on in Best of One is, is very similar to this. I guess this isn't going to work, is it? Never mind. Yeah, that doesn't even work. I need them to not sacrifice. Oh, that's the card I need. Rider or Oath? Oath. They didn't grab the cat. My victory was but a dream. They didn't grab the cat. 
grab the cat. They did not grab the cat. We have a chance. So I'm going to let them draw their card here first before... Now I'll just go ahead and... Um, going to go ahead and tick up here and thought erasure. I know I know I'm not taking the oven. Don't worry. I got this. I leave. But I I don't want the Teferi to leave basically. Yeah, that's true. An ethereal absolution shuts down that combo. So Mayhem Devil can like machine gun down my planeswalkers. Spectral sh Shriek, you know, takes one of these two things. Oh, okay. You were playing. You were playing this cat deck earlier today, and you didn't have a chance to use the cat in response to Ashiok. That's weird. Okay. So I don't know, maybe there's something going on there. Those who cannot proceed beyond the gate, meditate and prepare. Kind of wanted to take that other Narset. Be a bad idea. Wait. Stop there. All right, new card. I have just the trick for this. All right, I like the scorn. Bounce that. I don't know if I should grab. I, I mean, I should have activated Teferi here first before Narset. So we draw a card and then I have more information, but oh well. I guess this is good. Allows us to surveil after Narset, but I could still do that. I could still bounce and then Narset and then Thought Erasure. That's it. We got there. We got there. All right, 5-0. This deck felt pretty strong, honestly. Five zero. Yeah, this deck honestly felt really good. 
as far as as per control goes because um all right so again kind of talking about um as per control a little bit <clears throat> with losing again like i said before with losing five minutes of fairy as per control just hasn't been able to finish out games very well um you know like you have some really good cards here narset to fairy like those cards are awesome then of course obviously Ka uh um kaya's wrath thought erasure murderous rider oath of kaya like those cards are all really good but esper decks haven't really been able to like finish games out and win games i wonder if ashiok is the card that the deck needs to be able to finish out and win games and especially with all this golos field of the dead just get these ashioks in here mill people out um you know cavalier thorns is like a huge is like a really hard card to be ashiok helps there too this could be the way to go there. Um, what's up, Shadows Fall? Um, so yeah, this deck actually felt really good. A couple of things about it. The Unmoored Egos are probably not necessary in the main deck. I didn't really like those in the main. I think I would just go... I would go with like the Unmoored Egos over here. I wouldn't play Gargoyle or Hushbringer at all. Um... I think that some Legion's Ends could be nice. I think that's uh, that's what I replaced the Unmoored Egos with are, are a couple of Legion's Ends in the main deck. And so maybe like another one in the sideboard. Um, the Blacklands Paragon is, is cute, but I'm not sure how good that is. Honestly. Like the goal is to be able to block Questing Beast. It gets around Vela Summer. I'm not sure if it's better than Noxious Grasp. I, I feel like we should just be playing a bunch of Noxious Grasps for your, you know, be able to take out Oko also, and Oko and Questing Beast and, and everything. I know it's it's not as good against Vela Summer. Um... There we go. So I know it's not as good against Vela Summer, but I feel like that's what we should probably be doing there. You need the Blacklands versus Golgari. Why why is Blacklands better than Noxious Grasp against Golgari? Even. Could we play like a couple maybe a couple like So yeah, basically the the Paragons and the and having three Elder Spell, four Paragon, I'm not sure about those. Um, but I do think that we need more against aggro and everything. So like Noxious Grasps, Cry of the Carnarium, because of Vela Summer, you need it. Okay, the Grasps were not good because of how powerful Vela Summer is. Yeah, Vela Summer's messed up. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, well, Paragon is better removal there, but Paragon doesn't kill Oko, but I guess you have Elder Spells. Like, is there a reason to play three Elder Spells instead of playing, like, one Noxious Grasp? Yeah, it kills the 5-5 five five and Questing Beast. Okay, you don't care about Oko. You need to kill Rotting Regisaur also. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, you get to gain three life with Paragon also. Is like the is the first copy of Noxious Grasp still better than the third copy of Elder Spell though? I mean I guess there are like the Jeskai Fires decks, like the pla those planeswalker decks. That Elder Spell is just awesome against. Um, but yeah, so I, I think I'd probably recommend taking out a Mortigo playing some Legion's Ends instead. Um... But that's that's another option there. Um, but yeah, anyway, 
besides that, so like you know, like there's there's like a few numbers that, to kind of play around with here. Like, do you need three tyrant scorn? Like maybe like maybe not. You know, the tyrant scorn, the legion's end, the elder spell, um, the spark over there. Like, you know, like playing around with the right numbers that that you like. Um, but Ashiok felt pretty good, especially with all this Golos Field of the Dead. All right, so that's Esper Mill. So if you're watching the video later on YouTube, please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. And also let me know in the comments what you think of the deck. Uh, if you're trying it out in ranked, how's it going for you? How, like, are you beating up on all these Golos decks with this one? Uh, I hope so. Um, but that's it here. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.